A crypto wallet is your key to the crypto space. But did you know they can be hot or cold? All wallets perform the same fundamental function, storing your private keys, but in different ways. With them, you can manage your funds, perform transactions, and interact with the blockchain. Wallets can be broadly categorized into hot and cold wallets. A hot wallet, sometimes referred to as a software wallet, is usually a computer program or mobile application on your device. What makes them hot is that they generate and store your private keys and seed phrases in an online environment. They often come in the form of web-based wallets like browser extensions or standalone apps that can be used on desktop, laptop, or smartphone. In contrast, a cold wallet is simply a wallet whose private keys are not exposed to the internet. Additionally, beyond simple transfers, it should not be used to interact with any smart contracts. They can come in different forms, such as a paper wallet or a hardware wallet, though the latter is the most common. In hardware wallets, private keys are generated and stored locally only within the device, and are not exposed to the internet even when used to sign transactions. Note that while cold wallets are sometimes interchangeably used with the term hardware wallet, the two aren't entirely the same. This is because hardware wallets can still be used to interact with dApps, making them susceptible to on-chain threats. So let's dive further into their pros and cons. Hot wallets make performing transactions and interacting with dApps on Web3 a breeze. With an internet connection, users just need to log into their wallet to begin interacting with applications. Beginners in crypto might find hot wallets to be a good starting point due to their simple user experience. But even experienced users enjoy hot wallets for day-to-day -day crypto transactions, especially when interacting with dApps. However, this convenience comes at the cost of security. Because hot wallets are always exposed online, your private information is more easily compromised. Malware on your device or software bugs could allow hackers to extract your seed phrase or private keys, jeopardizing your funds. Frequent interaction with dApps leaves you more vulnerable to malicious transactions that could drain your wallet. As for cold wallets, its primary benefit is the security features it offers for your crypto holdings. Remember, a cold wallet is cold because your private keys are never exposed to the internet in any way. They also don't interact with dApps. These two together protect your assets both from malware that can expose your private keys or other on-chain threats like malicious smart contracts, as not even a hardware wallet can save your assets if you accidentally approve a malicious transaction. As for the downsides of cold wallets, the primary one is their inherent difficulty of use. Old-school solutions like paper wallets are more suited for enthusiastic cypherfunks and long-term storage, rather than the average day-to-day -day user. Cold hardware wallets are physical devices that need to be brought around with you, and also require an internet-enabled device to be used. That means you need to have both devices on hand to access your funds, and this can prove as a challenge to those who prefer to execute transactions quickly and at any time. Well, we hope you've enjoyed learning more about hot and cold wallets and how they work to store your private keys. If you're a gamer looking to learn about crypto games, check out our video right here.